All right, guys, Anthony, Super Service. This is Barry's truck. This is the one that spit the high pressure pump, the main shaft, uh, t two of them. It spit two high pressure pumps in 500 miles. Uh, we did not see the first pump. I know it's loud in here. We got all the equipment running. We're trying to clean all these parts. But uh, it spit one pump out. We never saw that pump. He took it to a Ford dealer. They put a new high pressure pump in it and said the pump catastrophically failed. So we never saw that pump. I guess it was 500 miles later, it spit another pump out. And we saw that pump, I got a video showing it. It, it cocked the, the main shaft sideways and doesn't appear that it did any damage to the cam gear. But, I mean, I'm not two pumps in 500 miles. I'm not sure that, uh, I mean, there is no, oh, oh, now we got some backlash. Okay, when I was, I guess, I wasn't feeling any backlash a little while ago, or whenever, I don't remember when it was, during one of the videos, I just grabbed it and tried to, but it's got a little backlash now, probably about three or four thousandths, which is good. But uh, we're just tearing apart, I mean, the bare minimum, you know, I'm, I mean, I need to do some measuring on this block. Uh, our main plan is honestly to replace a camshaft. It's not worth doing it again. Uh, the, the odds of two pumps shearing the shaft, and it's like this. Let me, I know I didn't pause. I didn't start this on something like, crap, we got the compressors running. But uh, let me find it. It did this. And that is the only pump that I've ever seen do that. But now we've seen two. So. If it only did it once, then I understand what the dealer did. Fine, you know, a freak failure. I do not have any history of that truck that that pump came off of. I, I don't know where it went. Uh, that was actually a pump that a guy brought in and I sold him a different pump for it. So I don't know how long the pump I sold him lasted if I, I don't have the history. This one, I'm not really willing to gamble because of two pumps going bad. So we're not gonna put a third freaking pump in it and hope. Uh, and I'm debating on, I've got a whole bunch of engine blocks, I've got heads, I've got all kinds of crankshafts, camshafts, I've got all that stuff. We're debating on just doing away with the whole engine if something warrants it. Now, crosshash is very, very light. I mean, it's not so bad there, but Look at all that shading right there at the top. Which, does that mean it won't run? No, no, but does that mean we're losing compression? Yeah, absolutely. This one ain't so bad. That one ain't so bad. But it looks pretty smooth. See how the crosshatch gets real, not fairly well down there. But this one over here, it goes away at the top. Well, I guess not. It just looks shiny, it looks glazed over. Uh, so, Depending on what I have not barred it over yet, I'm gonna flip the engine over because we got all kinds of crap in here. And we were originally, our original thought right now is to leave the pistons in the bores. Uh, flip it over, I can put all the pistons down. We gotta clean the oil galleys out. Uh, I can't, we can replace the camshaft. I'm not gonna take the adapter flange off. I know we can. I've been in situations where we've had to take it off before, but I'm not gonna do it on this one. Uh, just because I think it's... How many miles are on this? 140. 140, but at 140, it is a snow plow truck. And this is a little indication right here. It's how gray, I mean, it's, you know, it's the retainers. I mean, by no means does that mean anything could potentially fail, but that just gives you an idea of the engine. Uh, they did whiz wheel the block. Let me find a spot the camera will pick up. Uh, I need to turn the flash off. Let me look over here. Which I, I mean, whether or not the head gaskets were failed, I mean, not because this was a studded truck. So, you know.
I'm just looking at them. Kind of looking with you guys here. I mean, that's a little suspect down here, but... I mean, that side don't look too bad. You know, because I don't think that... Uh, I mean, I don't think it had a head gasket issue. Not one that was noticeable that was damaged. And we're a little nasty here with black outside of it. But, you know, I don't know, to be able to analyze that, eh, I don't know, man. I mean, when it's really catastrophically blown, yeah, it's real easy to see. Uh, looking at the deck surface looking at the engine I mean does it qualify can we go ahead and leave the rods in it I mean we could push the rods down okay flip it over take all the caps off the rods bar the engine push all the pistons all the way up okay so they're out of the way and then take the crank out I mean it's a pain in the butt I mean I hate doing it like that I mean, it's it's a it is it's a pain in the butt, and then set the crank in and push each individual rod back up there. I mean, with what we've got here, it's not too big of a deal. Uh, when we get to that point, to go ahead, I mean, look how rusted it is. I've already needle scaled it, but you can kind of see in there how bad the outside of the block was. I needle scaled it a little bit. Granted, it was on the engine stand, so I couldn't get behind the mounts. not looking too bad but it could benefit from uh this is a snow plow truck oh, I'm sorry. it could benefit from uh just being refreshed you can see all this crap down there that i got off i mean but do we need to i mean that's kind of you know it's I've said it before it's easy for me to suggest things it ain't my money so i mean you know do we want to check the cylinders and do a real fast ball home Put a set of rings on it you know that i mean if we're even considering that we need to check the bores we can bar it over and see if we got any taper out around and see how much wear is at the top um you know or with where we're at right now do we just go ahead and yank the thing apart i mean we'll bore here we'll we'll surface it we'll do everything here uh, i'll check piston protrusion right now to make sure that they didn't I mean, I'm sure they didn't, uh, <clears throat> you know, because if a block has already been surfaced, we really need to pay attention because we don't want to get into a scenario where we got to shave pistons or, you know, to give us enough enough clearance on the protrusion of the pistons. So, but I thought I would show, you know, we're we're a little light. We got a whole bunch of combustion loss going on right here. I know I'm making it dirtier by <coughs> whole bunch there too. I mean, there's where the ring lay it. There's where the ring stopped, right up here. So we've got all this area where, I mean, that's where all the pressure is. That's where, that's where the action happens. So, you know, whether we just do a ball hone if the cylinders check out, whether we leave it, I mean, everything's on the table, but uh, the guys pulled it out, so I figured I'd come back here. I'm waiting on a heat shield on Ted's excursion, waiting on a couple of parts, waiting on manifolds on headers. So I figured let's go back here and go ahead and do this real quick. So uh, just, I mean, like I said, this is the one that threw the uh, pump for the second time. And, you know, I, I guess I, I told Barry, you know, I did not find, as of right now, I cannot find a smoking gun. So we'll get it disassembled to where we can actually measure and let's start measuring it. Let's see if we can find something out. Because two pumps in 500 miles, I mean that, yeah, I mean I guess if we was to throw another pump in it and it last the life of the truck, then I would say go buy a lottery ticket. Because <laughs> chances are it's not gonna be, I mean, something's causing it, something happened. Uh, we do have a little witness mark right there. Let's see, can you see it right there? See if I can get it to focus. There you go. You can see it on the left-hand side, right there. That's the only one, though. 
The rest of them look like they cleared. Uh, we. Go ahead and turn that on. Just turn, let it run. Uh, none of the other ones really look. It looks like they're all right. Now we got to look. We'll look at the heads really good and see if uh, check the thickness, see if they've been surfaced. So, I mean, in fact, there's a witness mark right there. It kind of says maybe they were surfaced. So if they weren't, there's two witness marks up top. It, they're real faint, but a witness mark is a witness mark. I mean, you know, horseshoes, hand grenades, sprays, whatever. All right, but if I see anything else, I mean, I'll, uh, we'll go ahead and shoot a video, but once we got it tore apart, I wanted to record it so Barry can see what uh, cylinders look like, make a decision on, you know, because some, you know, this snowplow truck, he's, he's kind of does a lot with it. it. He makes money with it. And is it cost efficient to just go ahead and dust your hands and basically just redo it? I mean, with where it's at right now, who knows? But we don't have to. I mean, we could... We could go ahead and leave all the rods and pistons in the bores. Uh, I mean, hell, worst case, I can go ahead and just take the adapter flange off, which, eh, but I can do that and change camshaft right now. Easy. But, I mean, with where we're at right here, and we, we also got to weigh the, the block, you know, it'd be real nice to uh, take that block out. I mean... Just take it apart, get in the spray cabinet, get it cleaned up, get a fat coat of paint on it, get it painted, get everything covered and protected because this will continue to be a snowplow truck. I mean, we're already planning every transmission line, every power steering line, every line on the truck is getting replaced. We're replacing everything, so. Oh, she's wiping it off. Camera's not really picking it up too much, but I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, it's whiz wheeled, whatever. I mean, it also didn't come in from a head for a head gasket failure. It came in for other stuff. Well, that won't wear but I never even saw the truck run, so we, it ain't like we ran a degas test or <coughs> you know, very. I mean, I don't care what people say. Very few. It's kind of burnt right there in the middle. See it? Very few of these trucks. I mean, a lot of them have leaking head gaskets very very few of them have catastrophically blown head gaskets very few i've got a there's a lot of trucks running around that they don't even know the head gaskets are blown so you know is it that big of an epidemic if they don't even know they're blown we have to test to find out you know granted that's not right that sucks but it, it's not breaking trucks down so but it's always nice if they're you know are sealed up so <clears throat> all right i'm gonna shut up my voice is all messed up so uh, have a good day guys